Good morning. I am going to be doing some pizzas this afternoon because I've been off work all week uh, and I fancy a pizza or two. It's Tuesday. It's two for Tuesdays at Domino's, but why have Domino's when you can cook it at home better yourself? So follow me on the journey as I make some pepperoni pizzas and margarita ones too, uh, and just for myself, a nice barbecue chicken one. So yeah, follow me on the journey. I'm gonna show you how I prep the dough uh, all the way through to launching the pizza. So uh, let's have a good day and uh, make some pizza. <laughs> So one of the first ingredients that I use is flour when making dough, uh, and I use a Caputo brand. It's a fantastic brand of double zero flour, really, really high in protein, and it gives it a great crust. So I'm just gonna weigh this out and put it into my trusty stand mixer. So what I've just done here is I've put some salt into the water, uh, warm the water up. So two thirds of the water has gone into the microwave very quickly, about a minute and a half, just put it on nuke and uh, get that nice and up to temperature. Then with the other quart third, uh, that just stays in the bowl and I've put the salt and the yeast in there. So with the yeast being activated, it just helps everything go much faster. This is a four hour dough uh, that I'm gonna be using today um, just because my fridge is full with loads of stuff. But normally, uh, if I'm doing a really good pizza, I'll leave it in the fridge for 24 hours so it's got a real slow fermentation. So uh, yeah, let's go and put it all into the stand mixer, mix it all together and make some glorious dough. So what's happened now is the dough is in its bowl still. Wrapped it around with cling film, I pulled the dough up. Yeah, so once it's doubled in size, maybe tripled, uh, we'll get it out and I'll shape it into the five balls of dough that we need uh, for this afternoon. So yeah, catch you in a bit. So it's time to pull the pizza. So the pizza dough has had time to rise. It's had time to ferment, which is fantastic for its flavor and getting a good crust. So I'm just gonna ball four balls of 250 grams and I'm gonna mix it on here, ball it on here, and then it goes into my proving trays uh, where it'll rest for another hour and a half before we start firing them up. <laughs> 